Ba-dum, boom, boom, boom. Slumber, Jack Frost. Slumber, Jack Frost. Slapback, Jelly Frat. Slapback, Jelly Frat. Slapback. Hello, and welcome back to Slapback Chat Frat, the podcast of the people, for the people, by the people. I'd like to welcome back the gentleman's gentleman, the top brass, the king of good times, and the champion of champions. The top cat, the low jack, the, y- the yoga mat, the come by yar, the oven bat, the mild tap found in your basement that you hid from your mum, the dirty little girl, the secret that you can't bear to tell, the summer porn that lights the bomb, Mr. Russell Garnet. Thank you, Dan. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Welcome um, back. It's a pleasure to be back. I am thrilled to be here, to be with you. <laughs> Way to go, to enthusiasm, yeah. In the room. But that enthusiasm pales in comparison to the man I am about to introduce. They call him the Prince of Parties, the Baron of Bristol, the man behind the man who knows another man who works in a chicken shop. <laughs> He'll be there for you late at night in tight stockings and frilly pants. That's when he goes to work, and sometimes he goes to blessed places also. It's Dave White. We love it, Dave. Lovely Dave. Evening all. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm Oh, wait a minute, Refresh. Oh, oh. Refresh. Refresh. Oh. Refresh. Come Refresh, on. Dave. Refresh, Dave. Uh, refresh. Okay, that. I'm refreshed. I'm refreshed. Oh, my beautiful. Back. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I'm uh, obviously fresh from my burlesque uh, performance as Davinia, uh, so working hard to get my get my man back on. So I'm going to be talking <laughs> about bears and other manly things. I can't think of any other manly things right now, but I'm going to be talking a lot about bears, a lot of bears. <laughs> um, so on to my uh, introduction. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to say, hey, this guy, that guy, the guy. Everybody needs a guy like this in your life. If only to make you feel better about yourself. Hey. He'll shine your shoes. He'll bartend your party. He'll take the pain away and replace it with berries of all colours of the rainbow while shooting laser beams from his ever so slightly weeping guitar. Hey, what's a guy? He's a guy. Or at least he is now, thanks to a suitably large dose of hormones and a less than robust Romanian healthcare system. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J is for Joseph Webb. Hey. Wow! Boy. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave, and uh, <laughs> thanks for the big up for the Romanian healthcare system. <laughs> you know they get a lot of flack, but you know it's a bit of a mess down there. But it's functional. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking what down in Romania or down? <laughs> <laughs> it's not functional. In Romania. Well, I think okay. they, I think I can speak for all of us. They've done a lot for us. So. Yeah. They have. We love Romania. Yeah. We do. There are some things so mysterious that they barely make any sense. Yet others fit together, like Milky Way and Thirty Pence. There are things that go together that really get along, like fish and chips, like Ant and Deck, or Dan read and this song. <laughs> Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, it's lovely to be back. Well, crikey, that is quite a quite a beautiful song for me. My honour, no doubt. <laughs> lovely stuff. Okay, why? Right, well. Um, I'm gonna shepherd us into our uh, into our first section. Um, for a long time, my reign has been long and beautiful, unquestioned and unchecked. My power grew until I was able to take full control of this wonderful creation of ours. Uh, sadly, my reputation has come under dispute. Funds have been frozen, and an internal quire- inquiry has been instigated, which at this time I can't, for legal reasons, get into. However, in the interest of keeping in the slapback machine grinding out content, we'll be looking for a new presenter to be in charge while this matter gets cleared up. Obviously, my skills will be hard to follow, and this will require some rigorous training and evaluation in the only way that would be fair, a live battle to win the job of Chief Head Honcho of Slapback Enterprises. However, a strange twist of fate 
loophole has enabled me to be responsible for the tests involved in finding the most viable candidate for the job. So this episode, I'm going to be putting you all to your, uh, testing all of your metal and seeing um, who is ready for such a position. Um, so, uh, Dave, uh, if you're ready, we can take it over to your game and uh, see what's on. What do you think of my new cigarette holder? Very it's, nice. Um... Yeah, it's um, I'm modeling myself. I, I can't on. see you, Dave. I can't see you. Refresh, refresh. refresh. <laughs> Can I have a refresh? <laughs> oh, that's oh, it yeah. now. Yeah, oh, yeah, that looks quite cool. Oh, mm, yeah, it's um, in the style of Corella de Vil. <laughs> I just need the Dalmatians now, and I'll be um, gravy. Uh, so my game uh, this week. Um, been thinking about it for a long time, uh, and have. Decided to throw myself on the altar of humiliation, and I will be sending text messages which I have drafted to <laughs> random people in my phone book at your selection. So um, you can each do one each, and um, I'm just going to so there's no. Hint of this is my mobile phone, just to prove that it's an actual mobile phone. Uh, I'm going to be dictating these messages. Um, so, the first text message is going to be, and just excuse me while I dictate, just checking if you're up for watching the game tomorrow, question mark. I'm gagging for a few shots, exclamation mark. Okay, that's worked. So that's the message you're going to send to someone that we nominate. No, no, no. Your your nomination will be random. So this will be. I will now press the two button, uh, and then I will go to the phone book area of my phone, and I will scroll through my names. And mm -hmm. when and Russing, you've piped up. You can go first, okay? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> this game. <laughs> Swipe, okay? And you just need to say stop at any point. And stop. Okay, who have we got? Ah, wonderful! It's a girl I went on a couple of dates with from Perfect. Tinder. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Joy, that's going to go down well. So I'm going to send. Can, yes. Can I ask a question? Yes. Two, two things. First, when you when you scroll, can you show the screen so that we yeah so that it's yeah a bit of a blind point. one, right? Yeah. Second thing, if they text back, do we get to kind of um think they return message? Yeah, I think I think this game's going to be better if we're involved somehow. <laughs> uh, you are, no, you are involved by selecting the lucky recipient of the text, and my intention is to read the response if a response is received, and no more. There will be no responding. Um, <laughs> well, I think a small a couple of amendments to this game can be. <laughs> this is my game. This is my game. <laughs> Um, so would you like me to, to redo that or are you happy with a, a rather embarrassing target as in a girl that I went out on a couple of dates with and haven't spoken to for two months? Uh, I think that's pretty good. Well, yeah. can we spin it again and then we, can we pick which one we prefer? Oh, well, this is all manner of rule isn't it? Um, well, it's the first go, it's the first go so the rules aren't in place yet. Let's let's go mental. Let's send it to that girl and another person, shall we? I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to go on that basis. Okay. All right. So, so all right. Show show the show the camera the the, the screen. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Oh, you need to you need to angle ahead. it like a slightly a weird angle. Uh, no, it's just got to be like this. So like tip it. Yeah. You're just gonna. It's not. It's too because the light is next to it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah you'll just have to trust me. But. Um, okay. Hang on, I could take the light away. You still can't see it. Can yeah, you? if you, if you, there's, there's times mm -hmm. when we can see it. There you go, there you go. That's it. That's the oh, one. There it is. Uh, right. Okay. We're going to okay. see Dave's uh, naming. Uh, swipe, swipey, swipey, swipey. Say stop, Russ. Stop. Okay, we can have. I pick from this choice. Can I pick no, from that list? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> uh, I it's actually. I actually don't know who this is. Isn't it 
Doesn't it land on one person? Or... Well, no, I've gone for the person at the top. Uh, and I really don't know who this is. I've got somebody saved in my phone, and I do not know who it is. So, Lucy Creed. Um, Lucy going... Creed. Okay, uh, so let's just check that this is... Um... <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe I'm doing this. So, yeah, I will update you if there are any responses to these messages. <laughs> uh, there we go. And that's gone. So that's uh, that's uh, text one. Okay. So text two um, is dictate nightmare exclamation mark. Russell wants in, comma. But he hates fondue, full stop. Are you happy to have Brie instead, question mark? Okay, so I'm just going to correct the spelling of Brie. Um, I reckon we can go racier, Dave. I reckon we can go more... Uh... I'm happy to go racier. Yeah, I'll I reckon... tell you what. Let's, let's... I'll criticise and change your game when you get <laughs> your turn, okay? <laughs> Improving, Dave. We're helping you. <laughs> We're work dropping. <laughs> Well, I feel like you could workshop, mate. brainstorming, yeah. brainstorming the humiliation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's that's true. Fun, Russell isn't it? Wants, wants something like so. What what was the text message? The text message was nightmare exclamation mark. Russell wants in comma, but he hates fondue. Are you happy to have Brie instead? Question mark. Also, my balls. Okay. So. <laughs> Joe, this is your swipe. I'm just going to talk over you for if there's any more improvements. Uh, so I am swipey, swipey, swipey. Tell me it's when stopped. to stop. It's all stop. Sorry. Okay. We have uh, Monday Night Football. Andy. Okay. So this is uh, <laughs> a guy from a five-a-side football team that I played for a couple of times who... Um, sporadically text me when he hasn't got the goalkeeper and I ignore him so that's going to be interesting um, so off that one goes well, that's, a, that's a relationship you don't, don't damage wait a minute Joe you've gone completely robo okay and we've got one more um, dictate this should make things interesting oh Really shouldn't press the dictate button, should I? So, dictate. Then she said, inverted comma, ooh la la, inverted comma, like a French cabaret artiste, full stop. I mean, what the heck does that mean, question mark? Just need to correct the dictation. Can we suggest at least one text message? Mm. Like, what about? I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, Joe, you do, you do that with your phone book, hey? Your game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is my game. Well said. It is my game. Okay, so this is Dan on the scrolly scrolly so there you go proof that it's scrolling yeah and... stop uh, okay um, that will go down to okay that's not very interesting so we'll scroll again go stop mm. my cousin Len <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to throw him slightly. Uh, there we go. Um, my cousin Len, who's uh, in his mid 50s, so he'll be interested to hear from me. Um, a French cabaret artist. There we go. So that's the three texts then, and uh, I'll be sure to um, inform you if there are any replies to that uh abortion of a text message conversation <laughs> okay, no. um and that's my that's my game okay great that's lovely well very good excellent game excellent game. I, I admire your um commitment to humiliate yourself yeah well oh, I've had, why I've change the habit of a lifetime yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay and the game will continue as we con as we progress throughout the evening with the responses yeah 
Yeah, yeah. the responses the responses will come, but there will be no further discourse. <laughs> Um, like any good podcast, we need to make the money, the big bucks. Um, and so just like every normal podcast, we are going to be doing some advert breaks. So, um, just get in practice for that to, to kind of, um, I don't know, just, just see how that's going to play out. I just sent Joe, uh, a, a, an example of, a an advert and he's going to, uh, he's going to take a little second just to, um, to bring us some some advert info sure and do you want me to read out everything that the advertisement no, says you 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 take that information and you use it however you wish okay uh so i'd like to take uh, a little moment to talk to you uh, on behalf of our sponsor um big jim's mattresses now how big is jim jim's massive <laughs> how bigger is mattress savings just about as big as Jim itself. <laughs> it's sleep all over your face. How much sleep do you want? Eight hours a night? Nine hours a night? With big Jim ah. mattresses, they're injected with a special brand of sleepy night-night time uh, drug, which means that you will sleep for up to seven days. <laughs> Best thing about sleepy big Jim sleepy mattresses is that they have a little hole cut out so in your nighttime sleep, all of your uh, excretions will funnel down into a little <laughs> sleepy chamber. Uh, and you know what you can do with that sleepy chamber? Big Jim sleepy mattresses also have an offshoot to turn it into a diamond for just five nine 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 nine. Big Jim, where sleep becomes gem. <laughs> That's very good. Very good, Joe. That's very nice. Yeah, nice stuff. Dave, I've, uh, I've sent you over our, our, another, our next sponsor. Uh, do you want to save that for after? Do you want to save a sponsor so we can do a little sponsor slot between um, between each uh, thing? It's good to mix up the sponsor slots between the content, the Red Hot content. Yeah, yeah. We, we want to keep the you... viewers. We don't want to put them off with a lot of advertisements. Okay, mm. all right. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take us over to our next game. Now... Uh, as a good presenter, uh, especially in this show, we've uh, we've specialised in uh, our film knowledge. We, uh, I think, it's fair to say we pride ourselves on our ability to uh, to kind of flesh out some of the uh, some of the films, some of the sequels, some of the Hollywood rewrites. It's become a you know it's a, a fan favourite. So I'm going to test your metal. Um, I don't know if you want to do this as a group um, or whether or not you want to work individually. Um, obviously, you know. Um, Gonna, yeah, however you want to play it, really. So I work well as a group yes. and individually. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> that, let's, let's I like to think of myself as having the initiative to work well by myself, but also uh, as a team player. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I work well with others. I'm a strong candidate, but I also have the the, the needs to, to go out on my own yeah. and to get projects done. That's if good. I had so, to list one of my flaws, is that I'm too conscientious. I just. Um, it's things have to be perfect. I won't stop until the job is done to a level that is, for some people, it's too high. And that <laughs> that's causes... above and beyond, yeah. That's why... Jealousy yeah, that's... causes jealousy. Well, I'd like to think that's... of myself as a team player. That's my weakness. My... That's my weakness. I'd like to think of myself as a team player, but unfortunately my um, irrational urge to lash out with knives has meant that... Um, <laughs> that it's the knives thing, isn't it? That's, yeah, the it own, that's your only mean. Achilles heel. That's your yeah. only weakness, yeah. isn't it? Your only weakness. You'd have got that uh, job at the National Trust if it weren't for the uh, knives. It? Yeah, it was, it was better when I was using other types of cutlery, like colanders and um, <laughs> uh, spatulas. That was, it was a lot you easier to deal with. You were quite popular as a spoon guy, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was... I, I love those spoon days. That Spoony was a days. Time in my life, yeah. <laughs> Just a, a little tap on the bottom with a spoon, uh, dessert or tea. Maybe get a couple of spoons. I remember you doing a little bit of a uh, rhythmic spooning, you know, a little bit. Of... <laughs> <laughs> you used to do, what was that? You did a class classical number on the spoons, didn't you? I did. I, did. <laughs> I, I, I wish I, I wish I had a couple of spoons now. So I'd say, yeah. Okay, let's just uh, what, wait, let's just pause what, the show. Dave, go to the kitchen, no, get spoon. <laughs> get your spoons. <laughs> go on, Dave, okay. tell us out one. Yeah. Yeah. Time to say. We'll wait. We'll oh, hold we'll fire. Be right back. We'll hold fire. <laughs> that one out. <laughs> this is gonna be gold. The tragic thing, isn't it? When everyone loved his first 
you know, his album. first incarnation as uh, Spoonie Dave. Mm. But then they started saying, so what's next for Spoonie Dave? What's he going to come up with next? And and he started, he just moved up the... Moved up Nike the top Dave. The not not quite there, not quite the same. No, not quite the same. Uh, his, uh, of... his concept album was uh, a real letdown, wasn't it, actually, to be fair? Spoon. What, uh... what the kitchen? <laughs> yeah. Things I have in my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I quite liked it. <laughs> oh, here he is, Spoonie Day. Come on, Dave. Then bring us, bring us, uh, bring us uh, one of your. What's what's your best song, Dave? What's Do you take best... requests still, Dave, or would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. William, William Tell Overture, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> There will be a uh, a prize actually for anyone who can guess this, and that prize will be a text message of your choice. Oh, oh! oh. Is it we? Right. Is it we will rock you? <laughs> okay, okay. Strum it out. So I'm, I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to mess around. Can, can you hear the spoon? Yep. Yeah, spoon yep. sounding coming coming through clear, Dave. Coming through clear. Right. So as you said, classical music I specialise in. Yeah, um, that's your forte. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's it's like the boundaries. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that was too good. That was too powerful spoon work. Right, get that phone out, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, um, for my win, I, I, I would like to workshop this because I feel like I work. <laughs> oh, great. Yes, that's just what I, I want to do. Like solo. I just want to make that clear, but I, I feel that, you know. You can work in a team. team. Okay. Um, um, I think. On. Nothing rude, I... please. No, 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 no nothing rude. I'll, I'll have rude. to ban any swearing just in case it goes to my boss. I will have to ban any swearing. Let's okay. just start off casually with. I'm outside. Whoopsie, exclamation mark. <laughs> I'm outside. Exclamation mark. <laughs> what about uh, what about uh, yeah? Whoopsie. Uh, Davy did a no no. <laughs> <laughs> no no. Whoopsie, comma. Davy did a no no. Exclamation mark. <laughs> it's. Are we are we leaving it there, or is there? I feel like there's so more. Read, to read us out, read us the text. What we've got so far, Dave. Just just go run us through it. We've got. I'm outside. Oh, there's the dictation thing still on. I'm not. I'm not sure about the I'm I outside. Think, bit. I, oh, no, I got, think the next. I think we can well, recover I'm, this by saying seriously. I'll start a new <laughs> sentence. Seriously, I have a thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, comma, I have a thing for you. Full stop. Okay, so what have we got? What's the whole thing? We've got I'm outside, whoopsie, <laughs> Davy did a no no. Seriously, <laughs> I have a thing for you. Okay, um, so yeah. that's I'm just gonna stop that there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh we need a we need a sign off. Um some Yeah, okay. Um what about what's a good <laughs> sign off? Um uh, it's got to be all cap, whatever it is. Come yeah, on. it's got to be all cap. <laughs> I'm, I'm racist. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. I, Let's be, ser be serious ser now. Be serious, okay. I think, I, think, I think a one word. I think a one word, just a big... Yeah. Um, how um, about uh, Cowabunga? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's part of the sign-off, because then we need Dave, you to put your own name in, and I think if we go with Spoonie Dave... <laughs> See this? How much better would Dave's game have been if we'd been involved? <laughs> this game. So let's go through that. This whole game's message. just got a lot better. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add a smiley face at the end. No, 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 no uh, smiley faces. No, that's not fun. <laughs> how about how about a duck? Can we emoji? choose an emoji? Can we choose the emoji? Is that all no? Right? I'm choosing that to an angry face. What it's about the duck emoji? It's no, I'm not. That's, that's it. You're done. Uh, I'm what outside! About the... Exclamation mark! Whoopsie! Davy did a no-no. Seriously, I have a thing for you. Cowabunga! 
Spoony Dave, duck emoji. There it is. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Can you can you screen can you um grab that screenshot of that of that and just send that to our WhatsApp because that's gold. I want that. I want that. All right, that's uh, yeah. I'll send that. That's brilliant. That's this game is so good now. Okay. Ah, so the, you're going to scroll best, through again. <clears throat> the best games do do come with absolutely no thought whatsoever, don't they? Yeah. Well uh, done. Well done. There we go. I like it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to scroll this one. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to play the game. I'm going to play the game. Okay. You, know, you know me. Always good for a laugh. Okay. Play the game. I'm going a bit lower through the alphabet. Yeah, let's uh, get from J downwards. Oh, uh, okay. Um, let's see, so let's see the scrolling. That's going to my former housemate, Tia. Ah, oh. just a bit of a bit of a relief. You've lucked out there, haven't you? Yeah, I've oh, lucked my... out. It's, uh, it's still still suitably embarrassing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When was the last time you spoke to Tia? Dave didn't know uh, that. <laughs> it's her birthday tomorrow. Actually, we're going out for. Oh, sorry, on Saturday we're going out for a birthday. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is like I, a free I, birthday message. I've lucked out with that one. That could have been. It could have been anyone. I mean, it could have been a family member. It could have been my boss. It could have been uh, all manner of people uh, that I wouldn't have wanted. Okay, so there we go, and that's gone. Okay. Uh, Still no replies uh, from the other. Um, I, I will be. This will be quite interesting uh, social experiment to see whether you get any replies. <laughs> well, I don't get a lot of text messages, Dan. I like to you. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, thanks for sending that just got, over. Just got very hot in here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'd like to Great take game. I'd like to take a minute and uh, talk about uh, another advert spot for us. Uh, Crunchy Time Mega Crisps. Are you serious about crisps? Because at Crunchy Time Mega Crisps, they take every minute of every day seriously, making crisps a thing of wonder. They have a top team of super scientists working around the clock to make crisps great again. They're building a wall around other crisps, and guess what? They're going to make them pay for it. We all like strong and stable crisps, not weak and wobbly, so it's a time you've made a choice. Eat Crunchy Time Mega Crisps and be happy. They've got a 50% more crunch over your lifetime guarantee uh, with extra flavour modulation crisps that are truly mega. <clears throat> and they use science to infuse extra delicious particles of flavour directly into your mouth. That's Crunchy Time Mega Crisps. So uh, spend your money wisely. Um, so that's Crunchy Time Mega Crisps. Uh, what's next on the <laughs> What's next on the game? <laughs> Uh, I, I love it when Chris use science to make them better. Yeah, mm. yeah. Infused Flame scientific. Science. <laughs> science infused. I'm still <laughs> trying to think. Yeah, of that's the very true. Is, Food but... doesn't have enough science these days. No, you'd need more science, less literature, more science, more... less taste. Yes, <laughs> less taste, more science. If, if I that should be their thought. tagline, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, Russ, is your do you have a game ready, or Joe, do you have? A I game? do have a game, and it is ready uh, right now. Great. So it's um, it's my regular game, but it's been new and improved this week with oh. um, added uh, crunchy element <laughs> flavor modulation. <laughs> <laughs> added yeah. elements that um, you need to work into your uh, your weeks um, let me just see what's the best way to send it uh, it's on Facebook isn't it yeah. I'll just quickly log into Facebook a second on my phone okay. um, perhaps, is, perhaps is there another advert that we can um, yeah Dave check out whilst I'm just doing this for a second yeah okay so um. Dave you, the the, the, the uh, the the ad read is, is there just as a guide, so feel free to add your own flavour. Uh, make it your own. Make it make it your own. Okay. All right. Um, well, uh, I'd like to mention a very important sponsor. This is Harvey Weasel Chocolate Bars, and um, they are the most weaselly chocolate bars you ever had. Uh, lots of chocolate, lots of weasel, and everybody's favourite uh, very uh, elongated rodent. Um, you may want stoats. You may think stoats are better, but I'll tell you, stoats are totally different, whereas <laughs> weasels are weaselly identified. 
we can guarantee you a five times more weasels than your average weasel chocolate bar, uh, nine percent less fur, okay, uh, and also fur, pure chocolate made with milk squozen straight from a pregnant weasel. They are <laughs> the creme de resistance oh. of weasel chocolate bars. Lovely stuff. That sounds <laughs> delicious. I like the squ squeeze. <laughs> That's the past tense. I think you you came up with <laughs> weaselly distinguishable or something. Was that's the greatest tagline? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be happy with that. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be some big money for us. Yeah. Yeah, weaselly distinguishable from the competition. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Or just weaselly the best. Weaselly. <laughs> <laughs> weaselly digested. <laughs> Uh, two seconds, lads. C continue bantering. Excellent banter. Excellent banter. Okay. More banter. Let's head over to Banter Corner. Joe, what's happening in Banter Corner for you this week? I've got some uh, top quality bants. Uh, I've got a few subjects that I'd like you to riff upon. Okay. Okay, Dave, riff away. Uh, footy in the park with your mates in 1994. Riff. Riff. Oh, <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> fill the time, fill the time. Football Number 94. <laughs> Riffs the goalpost. Oh. Uh, Think about uh, football 94. That, oh, Italia 94. Uh, football. Um, Roberto Baggio. Yeah. Uh, Ventus. Plymouth Argyle. Uh, um, haircuts. Tommy Tynan. Oh, all the best. Do you remember that goal? Okay, Dan. Dan, the message has been sent to you on Skype because I can't seem to log in elsewhere. But if you can paste that into yeah. Facebook, we're there. Okay, cool. I shall do that. Um, copy. Cool. Right. So okay, so good. we're going to move the banter up to another level now. What level um, of banter is this? Oh, oh shit. This is level eight. This is more than entry level banter. This is this is mega banter. This is re-entry level banter. <laughs> oh, we've got the bants now. That is a higher level of banter. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Dave, you're first up this week. Okay. You may want to uh, quick look over the um, notes of your week because there is a few elements where you will need to improvise and everybody's improvisations must be different. Otherwise, you'll be penalised points. So you'll have, you could end up with a negative Negative, tally. negative bants. Negative bants. Shit. So you've got a minute to tell me about your week in Bristol, everything you've been up to, things that Times when you've had great times, times when you've had bad times. Successes, failures, in between times. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that weasel chocolate again. <laughs> oh, Dave, uh, can, you, can you do a refri refresh? Refresh, refresh, refresh. Can I have a little refresh? Just going to have a little re refresh. Wicka, wicka, wow. Uh, okay, um, so uh, I'm... Ready? I'm going to tell you about. Okay. Me. Russ, do you want to give us a quick uh, on... before, before we start? Do you want to just quickly just explain the game? So the game is called. Was that the week that was the week that was that this week? Was it that? And it involves a simple description of your week so far, using real life events and real life people and real life thoughts and feelings. Thoughts and feelings are key, but. Within that description, there will be an element of subterfuge, a few little, what I like to call uh, word bombs, which I have thrown in, and you need to incorporate into your week seamlessly so that <laughs> it is not clear which are the word bombs and which are the truth bombs from your own truth mouth. Okay. <laughs> Dave. Dave White. I'm going to give you slightly longer this time. I'm going to give you one minute, ten seconds. Oh, great. Thanks. Just, get, just getting that up on the clock. On your marks. Take go. 
Okay, so uh, this week, as most of you will know, Dave became a Divinia uh, in her debut performance at the uh, Bristol Burlesque show. Um, and I was there, and I was a bit of a prima donna, and I said, they've got to be pink. I won't dance without pink straws, and they hold me over the coals for that one. Now, some say king-size Mars bar, some say three Pritt sticks taped together, but it's important you make up a password reminder and my password is sealed lips are safer. <laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> I then take back Jao Go. Oh, my tummy hurts. And that was probably a product of uh, Dr. Derek flopping on a Mars bar. Um, and <laughs> I overreached on that one occasion and touched one too many uh, people that I hadn't Five met seconds. before. And, uh, yeah, I fit in five fingers, no problem. Shut your Time pipe. Up. Very good. Very, Very good. well done, Dave. High point score lots on that one. Lots of pressure, one. lots of sweat. Very yeah. high. Yeah, that was good. Right, Dan you're, Dan, you're up next. With You've got to go straight off, straight off the bat on this one. Three, okay. two, one, go. I had a lovely week this week. I worked 50 hours, bang, straight back to back. Uh... I was making myself some dinner because I was very hungry after that and I stuck uh, some bread in the oven for 95 minutes on Gas Mark 5 Simples. Uh, I, this guy I knew, he uh, is a bread expert and he's called Dr. Derek. He plops on Eric as his technique to create the perfect loaf, um, which is very helpful to me. Um, so I, I was heading out on a date. I didn't have any shaving foam, so I popped a weasel chocolate bar on instead. <laughs> And uh, that did the job, so that gave me a nice clean shave. Um, or as I like to say, Mr. Kobayashi hits a hole in one. Dreamy, teamy, whirly time uh, is my <laughs> catchphrase. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tummy hurts, I thought, after I'd eaten that uh, weasel chocolate. Um, so, uh, the weasel chocolate Five bar, seconds. some say, is king size Mars bar. Some say free Pritt sticks taped together. I think it's uh, delicious, but I overreached on that one Time occasion. <laughs> I played again. Very well played. Very good. That was very good. Okay. Some bonus points there as well, Dan, for getting in. Weasel chocolate. Some <laughs> of your own material. Okay, Joe Webb, can you match up to these formidable opponents? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sorry, I was, I was supposed to be thinking that, not saying Right. <laughs> okay, okay, off you go. Start. Go. So this week I've mainly been doing a lot of DIY because we just moved into a new house. I had to sand the, uh, the wall, but I didn't have any sanding paper. So I went to YouTube. They suggested using uh, a razor. I didn't have any shaving foam, so I popped a razor blade into a banana and scraped it over the wall. That <laughs> left a nasty slimy residue, unfortunately. I also had to buy some curtains. Uh, they had every single colour except pink. I said to the, uh, you know how I like to dance in front of my pink curtains like a pretty show girl. I said to the man in B&Q, they've got to be pink. I won't dance without pink straws. He said, pink straws? I thought you said pink curtains. I said, why this folk? That's a perfectly legit. <laughs> uh, I also had to uh, sand the floors. Uh, obviously, uh, I did it uh, incorrectly, so I got a nasty splinter. Um, as you know, uh, when I get in pain, I yell, kiss me quick, kiss me quick, kiss my boo-boo, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had to take. Oh, we got my, ten uh, seconds left. Five, five I seconds. Sorry. The, I had to call out a uh, a builder to uh, fix my banana wall. Um, they all hold me over the hot coals for that one. Time <laughs> up. Early, early Time up. Do a twig is how I remember doors, curtains, holes, and plaster and trust one. Wow, very good. Well played. Well played. Very good. That was not bad at all. Pretty good. Okay. We'll come back to the scores on that one later in the uh, in the podcast. Okay, that was that was delicious. Um, Russell, disappointingly, you... still no text message replies. Yeah. <laughs> this game is going to be undone, isn't it? By your uh... I'm very useful use use to that. It's, um... <laughs> okay, um, so I so yeah, so um, as I was saying earlier, this 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 podcast has been uh, has been powered heavily by our ability to take film plots and to rework film ideas so i'm, I'm gonna give some titles for some films and um as a group we're gonna work together and try and workshop these titles um so is there any, is there any that from the list that you would like to start on or would you like me to pick pick some? 
I, I think I think you know we we pick out ones that appeal to us. Um, I mean, obviously, weasels sometimes make you cry. I could link that in with a good um, weasel chocolate sponsorship. <laughs> but uh, I do like the idea of um, King Kong, Ding Dong, Da Du Wop. Um, I can just see King Kong as a kind of a, a shy and um, retiring yet talented um, do wop dancing uh, ape um, in a uh, bow tie and a nice white suit, uh, kind of on the dance floor. You know, nobody knows who he is. He's just there in the corner in the shadows. Yeah, the right song yeah. comes on and yeah. he I'm dances dancing. for his life. Yeah, for his life. It just, you know, it, it's, um, you know, I see it in the start of flash dance. Yeah, I, I, mm. I imagined in my head, I imagined a little bit of um, uh, Dirty Dancing. That kind oh, of, yes. that kind of. Uh... Nobody puts monkey in the corner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> could we, could we resurrect, could we CGI resurrect um, Swayze? Or would Swayze oh. be, would he be like a monkey Swayze? Monkey Swayze, yes. I think, I think, I think, I think like keep, keep the plot largely similar. I yeah. Think just, uh, don't ever explain why it's King Kong and not Patrick Swayze. Just... We could replace all of the characters with different apes. So <laughs> instead you could have like a, a young chimpanzee, uh, you know, in her kind of early or, you know, sexual awakening, carrying a bunch of bananas up to the um, uh, shack where she finds a number of um, orangutans and uh, bonobos and, and similar, you know, doing some very, very risque tree swinging and King <laughs> Kong is there at the back and uh, she falls instantly in love with him. I like it. Um, I, um, I, I kind of imagine um, maybe a side shoot off from the Planet of the Apes, War of the Apes, King Kong, Ding Dong, Doo-Wop style. Uh, yeah. It's like a, like, a, like a side story. Like, uh, you know, like how Star Wars has got Star Wars 7 and 8 and they've got the Han Solo stories. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe the monkey. So the trailer could be like, first, there was war. Yeah. Then, there was battle. Then, there was oh, do up do <laughs> a monkey time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I like it. No, I think there would be a lot of demand for that for that movie. Okay, so that's especially King... in the monkey community. <laughs> yeah. Traditionally uh, overlooked cinemas. <laughs> I've got a couple of favourites. If you come home I... equals goblins, that makes me happy. Um, I think that... one that's one that. Um... Uh, it stood out for me was was Candy Boy. Candy Boy. That, <laughs> for obvious reasons, that has got smash hit written all over it. What happens in Candy Boy? How does Candy Boy play out? What's the uh, who who would star in Candy Boy? Well, I think it's. I mean, it's, yeah, it speaks for itself, really. So obviously, Candy obviously, Boy. it speaks for itself. Well, but really if you were to plot, if you were to yeah, so. You would. I mean, well, you need two. You will need two actors. One to play Candy, Candy Boy as, as the boy, yeah, and one to play Candy Candy Man as because the film is set in flashbacks nice. to uh, the child's youth. And you mean so, Candy Man is in the horror film, <laughs> like the yeah. prequel to the horror film Candy Man. Yeah, well, oh, I, mean, I was thinking it would be mixed Switch in with that Candy Man. Uh, that was an entirely different, entirely different spin I was putting on that movie then. Doing the Candyman, the horror. So you say his name for three, three times in the front of the mirror, so. and he brings you, yeah, you brings you some candy. Then you get killed. Between three and five, yeah. it depends on the level of injury you want. Yeah. <laughs> but, but maybe, a pa paper cut is it free? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it once and you just get a Chinese bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but with maybe. Candy Boy, it's a bit bit different, bit of different tact, Joe. Right? Yeah. Well, maybe in the early incarnation. So he works his way up to say my name five times in front of the mirror, you get killed. Maybe he road tested a few other things like that before, like, you know, say my name uh, five Fredo. times in front of the mirror and you'll get some candy. Yeah, you get like five Freddos. <laughs> <laughs> or, or email me and um, I'll send you something in the post. You know, email me four yeah. times. Get some coupons, the... off, get some coupons yeah. off the address. Well, exactly. Request the goods, send me over the financial um, particulars, and I'll send you over the package. Yeah. That financial could have been the starting point. 
was candy that boy. Was candy boy starting point. But then yeah. he started to get annoyed that people were uh, taking advantage of his generous coupon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't keep this up. <laughs> <laughs> cash flow was going down and the emails because he's getting four emails for every request so fucking hell, he's got hundreds and hundreds of emails so then he thought upgrade this Kill one me. phone call <laughs> <laughs> what's the next logical step death next logical step one phone call i'll kill your gran and that was a sort of that was uh, a turning point That's that was a, that i would that would be the key moment in the film when he turns off the laptop puts a phone number on a uh, in a nearby phone booth, and then somebody calls it, and it kills their crown. <laughs> That's yeah. But this is part of a, a trilogy, right? Uh, yeah, well, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously, obviously, yeah. obviously part of a trilogy. Yeah. Candy boy, candy man, candy old man, candy <laughs> candy, candy grand, candy grand, candy baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean it will run and run. Uh, you know, it's probably nine. It's probably nine films, isn't it? Yeah, Return I mean, candy, candy, candy adolescent. adolescent. Candy yeah. yeah. Chucky, Chucky boy, Chucky <laughs> man. Oh, a spin-off. I like that. Yeah, oh, I Chucky. quite like the fact that we could get uh, at the soundtrack. We get Destiny's Child. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Candy man. You've got to think about the soundtrack. Isn't it? Um, who, didn't Christian Aguilera do Candy Man? Didn't did Christian Christian Aguilera do Candy Man? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, well, that was the tack I was going down. I yeah, uh, yeah, I like it. Corner, sh- corner shop would do a track as well. Corner shop would come back. That would bring a big. Yeah. That would bring them back, wouldn't it? And um, probably Cooler Shaker as well would get involved. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah. Cooler Shaker. Wow, chicka, wow, chicka, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Just a bit. Of, it needs it needs a wah guitar. That, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we missing from this uh, soundtrack? Wah. <laughs> It's just entirely soundtracked by Cooler Shaker. So how many songs? One song, all the way through. <laughs> yeah, we need an hour and a half of <laughs> wah guitar <laughs> from you guys. No and trouble, it gives the films a kind of detective vibe because it's got that sort of wah, wah, wah. So when he's going around killing people, it it feels as though there is a real reason for him to do that, like do that, like he's avenging something. I'm not sure if Cooler Shaker are the band. I mean, they can do the wah, but can they do the chicka? <laughs> Maybe we get another band in for that. Top yeah. loader. Yeah. Top, Top loader. <laughs> Top loader. Have we got the budget to do this, though? Do we, you know. Well, I think I think, I think between Cooler Shaker and Top Loader, we've got 50 quid. So I reckon we could probably, <laughs> <laughs> we could probably get a couple of albums out of those guys for that. Yeah. Um, if we could get a bonus concept album out of Shaker. Yeah. Uh, With yeah, top loader. Big time. Cool, cool, uh, cooler loader. Cooler, cooler loader. <laughs> top, shaker. top shaker, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of those is the album title, one of them is the band. Or maybe, yeah. actually, they, they're probably going to want to work it out between themselves. They're probably going to end up on Cooler Shaker Feet uh, Top Loader. Yeah, versus. Featuring Top Loader. Featuring, yeah. They're, they're, they're top yeah. loading, aren't they? What was, that, what was that rap band that did. Uh, DMX versus um, could it be DM, could it be Cooler Shaker versus Top Loader? Um, Run, Run DMC versus Jason Nevins. Yeah, yeah, that's up. Yeah, that's that's. But I think I think given the personalities of the two bands, I don't think it would be adversarial. I think it would be they would be co-working. So it would be Cooler Shaker with with <laughs> enjoy Cooler Shaker <laughs> enjoy love Top Loader. Loader. Cooler Shaker loves Top Loader. And it's a heart and an arrow with half of the arrow is like Cooler Shaker and then the other part is Top Loader. That's amazing. I think I saw that scrawled on a toilet door wall the other day, actually. (laughs) Cooler Shaker loves Top Loader. I think think crucially as well, they shouldn't be allowed to learn what the plot is beyond the uh, name of the film. So they have to soundtrack the whole film, but they only get Candy Boy. Candy uh, Boy, yeah. That way, you get some interesting tension, you know, between what they think uh, is a film about a, uh, a sweet young man, and what the film and the millions, is. the millions we've invested in quite dark in a, movie, in, in, in a narrative arc which sees a young boy, uh, you know, being summoned uh, for coupons for beds, slowly descend into madness and start killing people. <laughs> I mean, is, is that, that tension? Is that, is that tension that <laughs> I think it's will? Little, it's a little bit cliche that art, but uh, but it's yeah. gonna pay off big time. It's gonna pay off big time. 
Yeah, I think Kula Shaker uh, Love Top Loader is going to save it from Flea Shaker. Okay, how about... Um, I've got a couple that I quite like. Um, Interceptional. Uh, Time Daddy. Time Daddy I quite like. Um, Parallel Christmas. Uh... <sighs> Like Parallel it. Christmas. Yeah, that's, that's got something about it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, P- Parallel Christmas in my mind was a uh, Parallel Universe type uh, Christmas event. Um, that was all. I that was, was thinking more like Paralympic Christmas. Okay. Like, <laughs> everyone's disabled. It's uh, quite. It's quite a. It's quite a hot topic, it, topic, uh, isn't it? Uh, oh, we need to... everyone disabled for Christmas Day. So, in, in the spirit of equality, everybody is disabled for Christmas. To bring equality yeah. to the world, everybody has... Oh, you, your, your audio just went crazy. You just went into, like... I think that was intentional. Nice. Very nice. Um, what, about, what about Time Daddy? Well, like, is it... A man who can control time, but only for a very short amount of time. For his uh, son. And only, and, and only when he's just fathered a child. Yeah. <laughs> I've only, um, I'm going to have to rut a lot. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, a, lot like, of, a lot of children. So, MI5 I mean, recruit and say, like, you have to go back and, you know, change the course of history to, to benefit us in some way. Uh, but he said, the only way I can do this is immediately after someone gives birth to my child. So the whole film is him just, just like, running away. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just a, a shot from behind, just his wobbly ass just going at it and then changing an event in, in history. I I've got a, one way to go. And the stories of women saying like, did, did you do it your Time Daddy? I'm yeah. going to have to Call me you. Time Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> time Daddy needs more changing. But I think, I think another, another way to approach Time Daddy just from a producer's perspective, would be yeah. black and white. Yeah. I'm thinking art house now, so just oh. get this in your mind. It says no color, and it's maybe a fixed shot, and it's a child. And there's a big clock on the in the kitchen. It's set in the north of England, and it, he doesn't know the time, <laughs> and it's question marks. It's time, daddy, and then his dad isn't there, so the, it's all about you know that dramatic tension between what is the time and how can you know the time if you don't have any parents. I like I it. I think that's got Oscars written all over it. That we're is looking at... Cannes Film Festival bonanza, isn't it? Yeah. What yeah. What would the time be? Or we'd never know. Uh, half, yeah, half two. Half two, yeah, that's nice. That's a good time. I like... Time Daddy would like that time. Can I add a little amendment to that? Right. So it's exactly that all the way through, say an hour and a half of a little boy on the floor with yeah. t- Time Daddy? Time, okay. Daddy. He just doesn't know the time. And then two forty-five. Right and the, the end, no, 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 but, 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 but and the clock is ticking. So the whole movie, oh, nice. you can actually see. So here's the thing: real time. You know what the you know what the time is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but he doesn't. And then right at the end, uh, there's the clock anthropomorphizes or whatever you want to yeah, say yeah. into a person and says, "Hi, time, Daddy. Finish." <laughs> <laughs> And would that go in like color and 3D? That would be 3D. So it starts black and white and then shoots into. At that point, it goes 3D. Yeah. It goes color. Rainbow. It goes. It goes widescreen. Um. So it's been four, uh, three this whole time. Like a star (laughs) swipe. Glitter glitter cannons. Uh, make it 4D. Glitter cannons. (laughs) Fuck (laughs) it. In your faces. Yeah, and uh, and everyone gets locked in the cinema for twenty four hours <laughs> and killed by Candy Boy. <laughs> well, that's I think that's got that's that's got um, Academy written all over it, right? That's nice. Okay, we could write that as well. It could say Academy Award. Academy, Academy we could, Award. Could we? Could we just write, in the movie. Can you just write that on films? Because that seems like a good way to get some accolade. Um... I yes. like don't go downstairs. Don't go downstairs. Phobia, but people who live in, <laughs> well, live in a block of flats. <laughs> don't go downstairs. You really small, a really small, small piece of text before a academy film, which was uh, this the director has seen in very small text, and then 
an Academy nominated film. <laughs> so people will be like, they'll be tricked into the ruse. I like it. That could be. It doesn't matter which which Academy it is. We'll just set up an Academy. Yeah, the yeah. Academy of Our Crack Academy. Films. Yeah. I like um I like don't go downstairs for lots of reasons. Uh, but the 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 uh the, the what's the word I'm looking for the trailer to don't go downstairs just pans up from the stairs black so like or no if it looks down into the stairs blackness darkness oh mm. this... I thought the film was called don't go downstairs for lots of reasons well I thought it was to do with oral sex <laughs> I think I think there's a lot of uh, possible you know there's a lot of possible things it could go a lot of but... permutations isn't there. But you could link it into you could link it into Parallel Christmas actually if it was will <laughs> Don't go downstairs. Sorry. Parallel cheap, Christmas. Cheap, cheap laugh there, cheap laugh. Yeah. Uh, so so it, it it's all like a you know it's it's a dark basement on the camera. But upstairs, well here's the here's the twist of the film though. Yeah. Upstairs is actually quite nice. It's lovely. So there's no, and there's a fridge upstairs, and an exit. Onto a like a raised platform, so you can come in and out of the house. You got a fridge, bathroom, two bedrooms. Yeah. So you don't actually need to go downstairs. (laughs) Don't go downstairs. Everything's up here. We've we've got. We don't need you. There's no. There's no reason to go downstairs. Don't go downstairs. Don't this summer. (laughs) This summer. Don't go downstairs. Everything's up here. There's no need. There's no need. We've got. I mean, it's crap <laughs> we've down got, there. We've got a fridge. Yeah, there's a spider, there's a spider down there. Yeah, it's, just, it's not nice down there. I wouldn't bother. Um, okay. Not, not decorated properly. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like. I quite like the competent spy. And also, my other favourite is Jelly BFF. <laughs> yeah, Jelly BFF works for me. I, yeah, you can see like uh, Mr. Soft from the Tree Bore adverts. <laughs> oh. I, I just imagine a child who's got no friends. And he creates a jelly best friend <laughs> that comes but to life. Only he can see. <laughs> but only he can see. But maybe, maybe everyone can see it. But he thinks only he can see it. And he's just got this big ball of jelly. And he just goes around with this big jelly friend. Yeah. And he thinks he's getting away with loads of stuff. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. he goes into Watch the local out. shop and like pinches people's bums and says, what, "Like jelly, jelly." <laughs> <laughs> They'll never know it was us, and people just walk around going, What is this oh, fucking no. kid's problem? <laughs> Can you Naughty sort your. Ju- yeah, excuse me, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Francis, your child is a fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's talking about his jelly best friend. Fuck off. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, <laughs> I think you're right with the, comp- the, the competence by. Um, has got a, you know that that's that's bountiful, isn't it? The competent yeah. spy. Yeah. I mean, he's just it's not great. He's, he's, he's I mean, sometimes he's all right. <laughs> sometimes the thing is, sometimes he's been on quite a few big cases and messed them up because you know, he he's can't bet, do he's, those. He's mainly death space now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> double backroom <laughs> office stuff. Yeah. Mostly, mostly admin, photocopying, uh, making responsibility. What about what about all the what about stopped. all the other spies have become have been killed in some horrible mission, and there's like this guy who's like literally he's just been desked for all these years. He's bear, he's the competent spy. He's he's sent off on his final mission to do an all right job. Um, mm. yeah, make okay. a really good cup of cup of tea. Double o five. Yeah. Double o fifty five. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too competent for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my my pay grade is way above what you're asking me to do. I am competent beyond the, I mean, what what I can well, easily do this. That's no trouble yeah. for me. That's no trouble. This is going to be the I'm most. Actually, I'm, actually I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to break book. any of the rules, and I'm going to do everything <laughs> by the book. We've called you in. I would, I... <laughs> I would take this final case. But as you know, it's my last day and I'm now retired and I have three weeks off in the Bahamas so I will be going, enjoying that. And then the last third of the film is just his retirement. Yeah, it's, a great yeah, yeah. it's just a handover yeah. to the next station. As, as you'll know, I've had my holidays booked for over a year and yeah. I didn't plan this so it would coincide. So really, you know, this I is won't my be, time. I won't be yeah, package honestly. deal. I'm not going to be able to get a refund. So. <laughs> yeah. really, really comprehensive handover notes and the next yeah. employee is just really competent also. Oh, because that leads you into a sequel. Well, 
Well, absolutely, the even more confident spot. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to do everything by the book, and I'm going to add some more rules in and do the... I'm going to add more rules! Well. I'm going to add... I'm going to make my own fucking rules. <laughs> They they will be brought in line with existing rules. The trailer should start with uh, a uh, a pa it pans in. There is a man sitting at a desk with with a cigar. Someone says, "What?" In a minute. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? In a minute. I like, like I like that dialogue. Right, um, Write that down. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so the, tra the trailer starts. It pans in. There's a man sitting at a desk with a cigar. Um, he get he he gets he gets handed a piece of paper and said, "There's been a big incident." And someone and someone says, "How big, sir?" And he says, mm, "Yeah, not not that big. Actually. Not massive. It's all right. It's, it's, all right. Not, it's manageable. Who, who do we need to get? We need to get uh, Gilford. Is he the best? No, but he's all right. <laughs> Some spy. No, I think also you need in the trailer. So you know, it starts off. And it's Lorenzo's office. And Lorenzo, he's got that big cigar and he's furious and he's like, I need my fucking reports. Where are my reports? And then the competent spy comes and goes, his report, sir. <laughs> <laughs> just just as you door. expected. <laughs> I thought I'd make sure I get it done on time. <laughs> By the books. <laughs> so, um... Excellent work. Oh, Everything tidied like up by close of play. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say you're the most competent spy we've ever had? <laughs> um, that bastard, he's so competent. <laughs> and then Lorenzo just looks off into the middle distance. <laughs> Dreaming of my holiday. <laughs> I love Close it. the office an hour early today. <laughs> Puts out the cigar. Thursday night drinks. <laughs> okay, I think that I think those film synopsis is is uh is a fine uh fine finale for um, film synopsises. Um, Russ, have you got any adverts? Have you got any, I do uh... have one advert. It's a product that's close to my heart. Okay. And I just... Um, bizarrely, we're not actually being paid to um, mention this, but it's just something that I like to um, just talk about with friends and family. Wake up juice. 50 hours of wakey uppy goodness. Key points. Made from pure wake up. <laughs> Have you ever been so awake you think you're from the future? <laughs> Donald Trump drinks 20 bottles a day. Imagine being as awake as the president. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> that, that, sounds, sounds, that sounds good. Grab the pussy. Grab the pussy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so awake! <laughs> I love it. Well, wake up, Jesus. That's a product. I, that's a product I use. I like it. Twice a week. Twice a week. <laughs> twice a week minimum. Um, <laughs> Joe, you got your you got your game, I believe. I am. I'm gonna have to make it a very quick one though, because I have to go. Um, so this one is called uh, Categories, and I uh, wrote a quick theme song, which basically should explain how the game works. Excellent. Categories. That's the game. I'm gonna ask you some questions, then you say things back. Don't need to go now for categories. It's a real fun game. You've just gotta play, and that makes it good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone That's got great. It? Yeah. You yep. Yep. On board? Okay. So you've got five seconds. To answer, uh, I'll pick each of you in turn. Uh, you each get, uh, I'm going to ask you a number of things to name uh, within those five seconds. Um, it can range, the categories are random, anything I ask. Um, and if you can name the best thing within those five seconds, uh, we can all decide. So I'm going to go along. Uh, okay. Right. Yes. Of you, you've got five seconds. Mm -hmm. Things that used to be cool but now are not. Go. Pepsi, uh, yeah. Apple, uh, <laughs> yeah. Conservatives. Because <laughs> you were a big Thatcherite, weren't you? I, in the 80s, Love you know, them. I'm all about uh, entrepreneurialism and uh, the yeah. smashing up of the um, National Health Service. Good times. Yeah, yeah those were the days, weren't they? Did I, did I get them right? I'm interesting that Pepsi was your first. 
Love Pepsi. Who doesn't love Pepsi? Pepsi? Okay. Uh, Dan. Yeah. Uh, name the, th- the three biggest things. Uh, the universe. Uh, yeah. A, a big lion bar. And <laughs> um, a elephant. Uh, no one can contest with that. I mean, I think you went too really big. big on your. I mean, too big on the. I went too I went big on your first go. I think I went too big. I made the smaller and smaller, didn't I? But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you used all your bigness on the on the first. The universe track. stumped me a little bit because then I then I yeah created yeah. something well, too big. There is. I mean, there is literally nowhere else to go. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, I can't too big. Okay, I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> okay, Dave. Uh, three. three Things you can do with the golf club except golf. Uh, hit spoiling a, him. Hit a burglar. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hit a person you suspect of being a burglar, and <laughs> hit a person who may Burgle not you. be a burglar, but it looks like they possibly could be a burglar. Okay, Dave, I'm afraid I'm only going to give you one point for that because all of your uses involved uh, hitting people. (laughs) (laughs) That might rob you. (laughs) It's the story of my life. (laughs) Okay, Russ, uh, three things that Ashton Kutcher might plausibly say. Five seconds, keep it quick. Dude, where's my car? (laughs) Um, Demi, stop texting me. (laughs) Russ, have a bag. I could have a bag full of fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you all of those. That's uh, that's a Thanks. very good thing. Um, Dan, uh, the three biggest things that would definitely scare anyone. Sorry, the three three things that would definitely scare anyone. Go. Um, a lion. Yeah. Uh, a rapist. And. <laughs> <laughs> A big, a big lion bar. <laughs> a, big, a big lion, chocolate coated weasel bar. Lion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, two, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna two, lose I'm, points for double lion, aren't I? <laughs> I? You're gonna lose points for double lion. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Uh, and I'm gonna end with Dave. Uh, three. Okay. Now, what, what one am I gonna end with, Dave? About. Well, um, uh, the three worst things to say to your three worst things to say when you first meet your parent, uh, your girlfriend's parent. Go five seconds. Keep it quick. Uh, your daughter's a great shag. <laughs> uh, I'm married to three other people. <laughs> and have lots of children. Uh, I'm a rapist. <laughs> I'm outside your window. It's a great introduction. <laughs> I've been watching you at night. <laughs> David don't know no. David don't know no. <laughs> okay. uh, that, that's it for categories. I'm going to give the points to, uh, I think the overall winner there goes to Russ. Uh, I don't oh, think he dropped a point. That's very good. Very lovely Thanks, stuff. Thanks, guys. Nice well okay. Uh, okay. Thank now. you very much, everybody. Uh, I'd like to say a massive thank you to uh, Joe Webb for joining, uh, Mr. Joe Butterball, and Mr. Dave White, and also Mr. Russell Garnett. This has been uh, Slapback Chat Frat. You can find us at slapbackchatfrat at gmail.com and also all over the in, into the net. So uh, we will see you again at some point in the future. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B